Hello everyone, welcome back to Nautical Academy. In today's video, I will show you how to calculate the ship squat and its significant impact on vessels navigating through shallow waters. Let us start. Ship squat refers to the phenomenon where a vessel experiences a bodily sinkage resulting in a decrease in the underkeel clearance due to an increase in the ship's draft as it moves through shallow water. Underkeel clearance or what we call UKC is the vertical distance between the vessel's keel and the seabed. This reduction in underkeel clearance is caused by the hydrodynamic forces acting on the ship. As a ship moves through shallow water, the flow of water around the hull is constricted, leading to an increase in velocity. The phenomenon is more pronounced at higher speeds and in shallower waters and confined waters. Confined waters typically refer to a waterway or area that has restricted dimensions, such as a narrow channel, river, canal, or any water body with limited space for navigation. There is no exact measurement for shallow water but it is defined as a depth of water that is 1.5 times the deepest draft of the ship or less. So the term shallow water depends on the ship's draft. Ship squat is influenced by various factors. The main factor is the ship's speed relative to the water. The squat varies approximately with the ship's speed squared. Reducing the speed will have a reduction in the effect of squat. The next factor that governs a ship squat is the block coefficient. The block coefficient of the ship at any particular draft is the ratio of the volume of displacement at that draft to the volume of a rectangular block having the same overall length, breadth, and depth. We can calculate the block coefficient using this formula. But on board the ship, we can extract the value of the block coefficient on the ship stability manual. I have here an extracted hydrostatic table from a bulk carrier vessel in which in this column, you can see the ship's draft. And in this column the corresponding value of the ship's block coefficient. The value in this table can be used if the ship is on an even keel or zero trim. The ship squat usually takes place either on the forward or after part of the vessel depending on the ship's trim and block coefficient. If the ship is floating in an even keel with a block coefficient equal to 0 0.70, there will be no change of trim. If the ship is floating in an even keel with a block coefficient greater than 0 0.70, the squat will take place forward and the ship will be trimmed by the bow due to squat. If the ship is floating in an even keel with a block coefficient of less than 0 0.70, the squat will take place aft and the ship will be trimmed by the stern due to squat. If the ship has an existing trim, let's say the ship is trimmed by the stern, the squat will take place on the after part of the vessel and there will be an increase on the ship's trim on the aft. If the ship has an existing trim, let's say trim by the bow, the squat will take place on the forward part of the vessel and there will be an increase in the ship's trim forward. Here are some typical values of a ship's block coefficient depending on the type of vessel. For crude oil, product, and dry bulk carriers, their block coefficient is usually greater than 0 0.70. For general cargo ships, there are instances that their block coefficient will be less than or greater than 0 0.70 depending on the ship's existing draft. This value serves only as a reference, to get the exact value of the ship's block coefficient for her present condition, kindly refer to the ship's stability manual provided by the shipbuilder. The formula to calculate the ship's squat is Squat in open waters is equal to the block coefficient, times the squared of the ship's speed relative to the water, divided by 100, the answer will be in meters. For confined waters, the formula is Squat in confined waters is equal to the block coefficient, times the squared of the ship's speed relative to the water, divided by 100, times 2 where CB is the ship's block coefficient. V stands for the ship's speed relative to the water. Let us solve this example. Calculate the ship's squat in open and confined waters. Her trim before leaving the port is zero, 
with drafts forward and aft is 9.800 meters and her speed relative to the water is 11 knots. So the ship is floating on an even keel with a draft of 9.800 meters and her speed relative to the water is 11 knots. Let us use this hydrostatic table to extract the value of the ship's block coefficient. The values in this table are based on the ship's condition which is zero trim. In the first column, we can find the ship's draft, and in this column will be the block coefficient. So for a draft of 9.800 meters, the ship's block coefficient is 0 0.8450. We will now calculate the squat using these formulas. For squat in open waters, it is equal to the block coefficient which is 0 0.8450 times 11 squared which is the ship speed relative to the water, divided by 100. The squat in open waters is 1.02 meters. For the squat in confined waters, we will just multiply the squat in open waters by 2. So we have 1.02 meters times 2. The squat in confined waters is 2.04 meters. Since the ship has a zero trim before leaving the port, and her block coefficient is greater than 0 0.70, the squat will take place forward and she will be trimmed by the bow due to squat. That's all for now guys, please do not forget to like and share this video, and if you are new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, bye.